What's good with y'all YouTubers? This is Scorpionic Sag, North No Rise and Tarot. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't liked or subscribed, it would be greatly appreciated if you do. Along with a donation, I have a link in the description box below. This is going to go for the Zodiac sign. You already know what it is. Scorpio! I had to do my screamo voice, man. You know, you never go... I'm telling you, bro, people never know what they're going to expect when they run into a Scorpio. Scorpio! Oh, I love that shit. But uh, anyways, uh, this is going to be a love reading for y'all, okay? Let's see. What's coming toward... Oh, shit, Scarps. You got the star card and you have the hair of font. That's what, that's what wanted to come out. I don't know if y'all seen those cards, but that's what wanted to come out. Let's see what y'all got going on in your uh, love life out there. This is going to be a love reading, okay? Let's see what y'all got going on. What do we have for Scorpio? Uh, I'm going to give it three more shuffles. I hate when it does that. Let's see. Two. That's a little better. Three. We have for Scorpios out there, man. I got a sinus infection, y'all. My sinuses are driving me fucking crazy. So nose itching and shit. Ah, three of Cups in reverse, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You could have possibly cut off a third party situation. Let's just see how it's gonna go. Ah. Oh, yeah, Scarps. That's exactly what I'm getting. I have to be honest with y'all, man. That's going to be positives. That's going to be negatives. I see you more than likely in the future are going to cut off a third-party situation from finding out some truths about it. Some things that you didn't want to hear. You could have had some communication or some clarity that stirred a lot of things up with you. Possibly somebody from the past. Or you could have uh, just take the storylines however it resonates, okay? You could have recently reconciled with a, uh, somebody from your past. Because you do have the past card here, okay? Reconciliation from the past. Or you could be reconciling with somebody, okay? You could be reconciling with somebody that is a karmic partner, Okay? Because you do indeed have the Six of Cups energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right? You could be possibly reconciling with somebody because that's the energy that's coming through to me. Okay? That's that's what I'm getting. You could be possibly reconciling with somebody. Uh, who's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, Aquarius. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> yeah, you could be dealing with somebody um, that could be coming back, which is a karmic partner because you do have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. But I'm going to tell you something, Scarps. This Magician card is in reverse, and you also have the Three of Wands. Okay? This person could be in the dark magic. I'm going to just warn y'all right now, which y'all don't fear that shit, you know what I'm saying? But this in reverse, bro, is not a good meaning at all, okay? I mean, there's all kind of ways you can interpret this, this read right here. But what I get from this card is dark magic will be involved to have this reconciliation, okay? In order to manifest you back in their life. But look at this energy. You have the Empress in reverse. You have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And you have all these burdens, bro. Look, see the Ten of Wands? You have all them burdens. And look at the Empress in reverse. And look at the Nine of Pentacles. Bad energy. Bad energy. This person who you could, could have possibly planted seeds with in the past didn't grow. 
somebody could have been putting in more effort than the other. And you, you got left with nothing. Okay? But I do see a possible reconciliation with the Six of Cups. That's the energy that's coming to me. Okay? Or here's another thing. Somebody could be coming with some uh, truth. Okay? Some truth and clarity on a situation that you really don't want to hear about them possibly being in this negative energy in the past. Okay, I get a, a past situation from this read right here. You could, you could be waiting on this person. Okay, that's another thing I'm getting. You could be waiting on this person. Because this is all about waiting on the ships to come in. If you look closely, see these ships in the background, right? You you could be waiting on this person to, uh, to, to hear some form of communication from them. But it ain't going to be the communication that you want to hear. Because you do indeed have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay? Be prepared, Scarps. Be prepared. Remember what I told y'all about emotional detachment. Be prepared. Alright? That That's going to keep you grounded in your emotions. Alright? I see you having a lot of emotion for this person. Because you have uh, the star card here. And you can see this water. Okay? You could have poured a lot into this person. You also have the Queen of Cups, your energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but this is Scorpio energy right here, okay? You could have poured a lot into this person and ended up with a lot of burdens, okay? Carrying a lot of burdens. You could be feeling burdened by this connection. And you could be waiting on some form of communication, which is why they have the Six of Cups. Reconciliation, okay? But I see... As the bottom card, which is the Three of Cups in reverse, this person could have possibly had you in a third party situation because you do have the Three of Wands here. But how I interpret this, you could have a possible reconciliation from a past partner that is a karmic, okay? Maybe things didn't work out in your favor, okay? Because you do indeed have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Things didn't work out in your favor for this exact reason. Because you have the Empress in reverse and you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. All these other people, they could have been entertaining other people. Now, I could see if it was upright like that, then they would be paying attention to you, you know. Even though she has a hand on that pinnacle right there, it's almost like, hey, stay back. But it's in reverse. So I'll pay close attention to that, okay. Take what resonates with y'all. Not all these readings going to resonate with all Scorpios out there. They're going to be a di just like I always tell y'all, all right? I want to reassure y'all that there's going to be a different batch of Scorpios that it may resonate with. The Scorpios that have subbed to my channel, this may not even resonate with all, with all of y'all that have sub. You know what I'm saying? It could be a different batch of Scorpios out there. So always take it from a detached perspective or take whatever resonates, all right? You could be possibly having a reconciliation with a karmic partner, okay? Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Some of y'all scarps may want that, all right? Y'all may still want that. But you have all these burdens. But I'm telling y'all, scarps, this magician in reverse right here, somebody could be using dark magic, okay? Not in a way to harm you, but to, to, to put you in that, how can I say this, okay? It's a love spell, okay? Doing candle magic and shit like that, trying to manifest you back in their life to get you thinking about them so you can reach out to them, okay? That's a form of magic that I'm picking up on, okay? It's not spells to hurt you or anything. It's to manipulate the energy to get inside your head to get you to contact them, all right? I'm going to just put that out there. Now, that may not resonate with, with y'all, okay? Just take what resonates, Trying to pick up some more energy. Just give me a minute. That's really all I'm getting. Okay. I could go ahead and clarify the, uh, the magician card. Clarify the magician card. Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ. Go ahead and clarify the magician card. Let's see what we got. Two of Pentacles. In reverse. Um, I don't want to say it, Scarps. I really don't want to say it.
it's kind of hard to read this energy, man. Like like this magician card. But what I did pick up on is a love spell can be manifesting. Okay, you could be feeling some some random ass thoughts. Hair of fine in reverse. I'm telling y'all, the hair of fine in reverse. Nah, -uh. nope. This person was a juggler. As you can see, the two of pentacles in reverse. And you had the hair of fine in reverse. You could have been possibly married to this person. Okay, take whatever resonates. You could have been engaged with this person. Engaged to that person. You could have had, had an engagement. Or you could have been just in a committed relationship. This ain't no commitment in reverse. It ain't no form of commitment, right? Then you got the jugglers with the magician card in reverse. Yeah, this person could be using some form of magic to try to manifest you back in their life. I'm going to just put it out there like that, okay? They could be sitting there thinking that they slick and shit like that. But you could also be feeling something that's off. Like, why all of a sudden I'm thinking about that person? Because magic like that, love spells and candle magic and stuff like that manipulates the energy. And it takes control of your brain waves to think things that's not even real. That's not even genuine. But I do see you having divine protection, okay? Now, it's nothing bad, bro. It's just candle magic. You know what I'm saying? A love spell. To get you to fall for that or to get you to communicate with them. To get you to reach out to them. Alright? But... You do have this divine protection, just like I said in one of my other videos, okay? I do see a lot of orbs right here, which is angels, okay? It could be angels and orbs watching over you, protecting you, keeping that spell at bay, you know what I'm saying? Hey, nah, -uh, that's not right. That's manipulating the energy. It's not genuine. It's not genuine. You have the empress here in reverse, and you have the nine of pentacles in reverse, okay? But that's what I'm I'm getting for y'all, Scorps. For y'all love life. The current energy in y'all love life. For whoever this resonates with, then. That's what it is. That's not going to fit the description of every Scorps situation out there. There could be a different batch of Scorps that haven't even subbed to my channel and will come across this and be like, damn, wow, that's my situation. But that's what I get for y'all, man. I get a possible reconciliation. Okay. It could be. With a karmic partner. Because you do indeed have the will of fortune in reverse. But things didn't work out in the past for a reason. And just like I showed y'all. The Empress and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And you have the Three of Wands. And you also have. Well. Y'all seen. Uh, what it was. Yeah there could be a reconciliation. Look. Look what I just showed y'all. The Nine of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. But just like I showed y'all in the very beginning of the video. How they had that Three of Cups in reverse. This person could have had you in a third party situation. Could have cheated on you. Because you have the Herophine in reverse right here. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Along with the Magician in reverse. Okay. You could be feeling a lot of burdens. Or you could have been carrying around a lot of burdens. Or you still carrying around those burdens. But you're waiting on that to come in. You're waiting on that communication. But it's something that you're not going to want to hear. I'm going to tell you all that right now. Because you have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Karmic partner. Possible karmic partner. The hair of in reverse. I'm going to go over it again. Two of Pentacles and a Magician in reverse. This person is using some form of magic. to try to manifest you. To get you. May possibly contact them. Because this, if this was upright, I could see them trying to contact you. But you have that in reverse. And you have all these other cards. You see what I'm saying? But there is a possible reconciliation. I'm trying to see if I could get more from this read. That's all I have for y'all, Scarps. So could, there, there could be a possible reconciliation. Okay, you have the Nine of Cups. And you also have the Six of Cups. But this is not the original bottom card that I cut to, okay, whenever I drew these cards, um, I pulled them, and you had the three of cups in reverse, all right, but this person could have definitely had you in a third party situation, you do indeed have the three of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and you had the three of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, take whatever resonates, all right, 
you could have been dealing with one of those signs. You have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, just like I said. <clears throat> Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, Taurus energy. Um, Libra, Aquarius energy. But that's what I have for y'all, Scarps. Um, y'all take it easy out there. Much love to everybody. Peace out.